Okay, now you do that. Eh. Get all that taken care of. Ah. Hello. What if I did not want to join the stage? What if that was what happened? You have no choice. Dun dun dun. Uh, unfortunately. I might have to go get groceries in a minute, Pearson, so we'll see. But I'm unmuted. I'm gonna pick That's up why. the three sons. Okay. We lost Bud. Bud, Bud? what the fuck? No. I see Bud. Bud. Bud's not joined though. Bud. Bud. You see something. Bud. Y'all, time to fight. I need more. Oh boy. Yes. Message to me. I'll be in five minutes, is what Jazz said. There we go. I think that worked. Is everyone here? Everyone here? Mm -hmm. Cool. See, did you hear what I said about Jazz? I did not hear what you said about Jazz. He'll be here in five minutes. Ah, cringe. Cringe nanny baby child. child. What? What? I, I said finished. nothing. Ah, the video disappeared. So, by the way, welcome everyone to Grey Raven episode 15. Today is going to be a very normal roleplay session. Definitely don't worry about it. <laughs> There's not going to be a combat. I didn't spend way too long last night making tiles, and you guys have approved the location of those tiles. That didn't happen. But speaking of which... <laughs> welcome to number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> As we left off last session, we had a majority of the group in the late afternoon in Pounce Camp. Was it late afternoon? No, it was like approaching. I'm trying to not use uh, house dweller terms, but it's approaching night nightfall, and we left off the other group at late afternoon. We're in Drown. For the late night. And as the things kind of settle, is there anything anyone wants to do before the morning? I allow for anything to come up, anything to happen. If anyone wants to do something before the night falls, or we can all just go to sleep, get some rest, heal up if you caused any damage. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I feel like um Silver and Rabbit should sleep. Um, they should nap together, and it would be cute. You guys are napping on the stump? That's like, not that stump, but the other one. What a simp. And it isn't a hunt game, so we're not sleeping on top of Foxleaf, unfortunately, but you know what? Damn shame. Uh, we'll make do. We'll make do. Um, so okay. before we... Go ahead. So before we fall asleep, um, because Tranquil had disconnected the the communication system, I am going to ask a Trinkle, we're probably gonna need that communication back up sometime soon. Yeah, yeah, just give me a just give me a moment. Oh. And she says something in like a weirder different language. Not quite feline, but sounds different. Has like kind of the same like roots, but it sounds different. But you recognize it. If you know what I mean. If you want to roll history or something on it, you can, but right now just it just piques your interest. What she says. Um, yeah, I'll I'll get it reconnected. I just need to be able to see all the crystals. On a 15, and you add something to that, don't you? Um, that's Yeah, because of the memory. Insight and deception. It's insight. Okay. Because you're trying to figure out, wh like, what, not what the meaning is, but, like, where you've heard it. I think, actually, no, that would be history, so you don't add to it. But you know you heard it when you were much younger. Like, before you met Finley. If that helps at all. And you start to hear, like, some of the lines pick back up in, like, a... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and you're going to hear like this like different crystals peek peek up and have their late night conversation they usually have talking about what they did during the day, what they wish they could do if they had physical forms. The ones that have physical forms talk about how it's horrible to have a physical form. The Violets are arguing. By the way, the other Violet is named Violet, just so you know, Sal. It's the same Violet, but it's two different heads of Violet. The only one that didn't get reconnected, though, is uh, Sebek. Because Tranquil can't see Sebek currently. But, you know, as soon as, she, soon as Sebek gets close enough, uh, he'll reconnect. Anyone else want to do anything else for the night? Is... No, it's not my end. Is it my end? Everything's just re reacting weird. Can someone speak for me? Yeah, I got disconnected. Weird. Hmm. <laughs> Hello. Hello. That was funny. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Uh, my, my Discord crashed. Welcome back. Well, I'm back. Hi, guys. The video shouldn't be too bad. It just, you just hear Discord in the thing. Anyone else want to do anything else before the night ends? I'll take the silence as a no. Is anyone keeping watch specifically? I can keep watch since the communication is resetting. Uh, how about over and pound or drown? I think he might be AFK. Uh, like while we're Barbie. here, while we're here in pounce, uh, go ahead, Silver. No, it's just gumdrop in front of an old TV, and it's just still loading bar from, like, percentages, <laughs> and he's just watching that all night. <laughs> all right, we go ahead and be an attentive, make sure nothing weird happens. Uh, Roll it again, because it's just an attentive check. You roll twice since you have attentive, I think. Yeah, it's fine. I, I, whatever it is. Uh, you don't notice anything, except for, like, there's a lot of cats to keep track of, and all of them are mostly asleep. You do see one moving about. Uh, Tranquil notices, but chooses not to say anything. As you hear another, no, 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 as another connect happens. After the night ends, one of the first to wake up is obviously Rabbit, who leans over, stretches his legs, and knocks Silver off the stump. I don't know if Silver would wake up to that. No, he absolutely would not, but like he's never been betrayed in such a way. Uh, <laughs> Rabbit gets down uh, from the stump. It's like, you okay? Hello? You good? Oh, he's still asleep. He just kind of like sombers off. Uh, heading towards like the central area and just starts like, like reaching like towards his side and piling up rabbits. Like, uh, dead hairs and stuff in the middle <laughs> and it kind of like gets to like a reasonable size of like taller than him he just kind of looks at it and goes back to sleep 
as you see kind of the wind pick up and stack begin to like kind of lean over. <laughs> Anyone else want to wake up early? Or would you wait till later to wake up? Everyone being muted is actually really weird for me. <laughs> The minute you addressed me, I could not speak. I was like, come on, dude, my luck. <laughs> You're good. You can speak now if you want. Anyone can, really. It's just everyone else is muted. It's really weird. Everyone's nervous for the deathly not fight. I mean, what is Silver going to do? Wake up and there's a bunch of dead rabbits just next to him. And he's just like, what? 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 Uh, yeah, you see that Fly is also going to notice it, and you notice her right beside you as you brush up against her accidentally. <laughs> Watch it! I was just trying to snooze. I was trying to do a honk, me, 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 and now there's dead rabbits around me, dude. I can't, I can't handle this. This is supposed to be a peaceful day where nothing happens. It's supposed to be just normal. What Everybody's, it, it's... Nothing's happening. Where did you it's make a it, though? normal day. I saw him grab him, but it uh, seemed like it came from, like, nowhere. Like, he stood still. They kind of, it, it's kind of because they do? I, I, I don't get it, but, like, uh... uh don't touch that. Huh? Not... It looks like it's about to tip over. Hmm. He'll be fine. You know what? I I don't I don't think it will. I you don't? Hmm. I I I don't know, man. I don't think you know rabbit like I do. I I yeah, you're right. You know, it'll be fine. Nothing nothing wrong will happen. Today is a day where nothing wrong can happen. I'm certain. How did nothing wrong is going to happen? So how, I'm very how confident. Did, how did your crystal get so good at rock stick leaf? Oh, um. They invented this. They 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 made it. They clearly did not make it, because if they made it, they would be better. They're just good. Did, did, did Willow like me? He said he made it. You're cutting out a little bit. Oh, oh he always can beat me. Oh, he always Willow. beats you too. <laughs> I won the first round, but after that, he's caught in my head, you know? He told me that he made the sport. Did Willow lie to me? Quite likely. Uh, you hear in your head, I did not lie, she's lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> the angel and then the devil on the shoulder. As we have the Willow freak out, we're going to head over to Drown for a moment. As uh, as you see when you wake up tied, Thump, very tired, staring at a leaf buried in the ground. Did you sleep? Huh? Did you sleep? No, I was going to wait for this to fall over. Probably not a smart move. It's going to fall over. And you see his head slump. Can I just walk <laughs> over there while his head slumps and it's not leave over? Feel free. Uh, you could, you can't, you can't, you can't be noticed. He's, his eyes are closed and you have light stuff. I know. <laughs> uh over by the uh fresh kill like uh hole you see uh the three red foxes um you hear hopper you know she's at least 60 feet away but you hear her trying to do what you, you told her to do 
doing it the exact opposite way. You're doing it the opposite way, Hopper. I hear you. Uh, uh, canine profanity is coming from the forest. Let's go. And, uh, Cat is staring, like, like, he just woke up, but he's looking over at the, uh, where the bodies of the old cats were. He's, like, he is, like, a, a, a bad vibe, you know what I mean? And he seems unsettled, that's what I meant to say. Can I walk over to Cat and ask him what's wrong? Oh, hi. Um, they don't smell dead. Yeah, that kind of checks out, honestly. No one what? says they stays dead, honestly. Let's be honest here. Two dead parents came back to life alongside a dead herbalist. His dead brother. No one stays dead. At all. Uh, Cat just fully, like, trying to stomach this as best as he can, doesn't, and <laughs> he will roll a save to not faint. Out of just sheer fear of zombies. He does not faint, but he's, like, dizzying. It's not that bad. You've already met some of them, to be fair. I, I have? Yeah, L.O.P., Pinecone's mom, uh, Branch, Pinecone's dad, River's mate, Leaf, Stone, Boulder. Oh! They all died at some point. They just came back. That's quite weird. Why? You know? That's a great question, and I would tell you, but I have no clue myself, and huh? That's just that's just way this forest works. O okay then. Also, three dead badgers came back and attacked us at some point, but see, they're dead again. So what's a badger? That ends well. I haven't seen a badger. a badger. Can I explain what a badger looks like? Yeah. Cat? So it's like a like a cat dog with black and white fur sort of yes okay not me googling what a badger looks like again so i remember black and white black and white person yeah person <laughs> i get things confused okay dm needs to know their secrets that's why they made a monster manual actually where does a where where does a live because I see them naturally, so I want to know if I'm just used to them existing. Nope, they're everywhere in America. Never mind, I can bully you. <laughs> I've never seen one in real life. I have. Well, that's because. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. The the one place. Oh, look at him. Place, they aren't native. Is <laughs> fox. Look at him. He's so cute. Look at that. What now are there? You got what little stripes. The one place that they aren't native to is pretty much the region where you... I don't understand. Oh, that's so base. They're in the zoo, though. Then how have you seen one? Uh, I, I do travel now, though. That is something I do. I understand that. Anyway. <laughs> Getting back, back to, to Grey Raven... Uh, the eldest fox, uh, kind of gets up. Um, kind of, like, looks at you with, like, regard. Like, it, this is in Volpine. Do you I understand figured. me? Yes. Interesting. My feline is very bad. I can speak in Volpine if you wish. That would be the best. Okay, dokie. Uh, as are you? Were you communicating in Volpine originally, or you said that in feline? Okay, I I see the conversation now. Okay. Continuing in Volpine. Um, hello, my name is <laughs> Den. 
Um, I heard about what you did for Burrow and Swift, and I just wanted to thank you, I guess. No need to thank me. It's what I do. I feel like I still should. Like, you're the reason I got to meet them. The reason why I'm not alone. Well, that's good. It's never good to stay alone forever. You are a healer, right? Indeed. Can you look at this? And he kind of like holds up his paw to you. And you see a uh, very... It, it Without needing to roll. It's bad. It's like... In like a way of like he stepped on a thorn. But he stepped on a thorn a year ago. Bro. What? Can I... Is So can I use Herbless on that? And just take out the thorn? Uh, DC 5 it? to not... To like... Roll it. Roll a die. Five and above doesn't hurt. You do it miraculously. Four and below hurts like hell. Oh, I'm really hoping I get a one. I'm really hoping I get a one here. Yes! 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 <laughs> so you grab this sword, and by the time you even like touch it, he's screaming. And my mic just peaked my ears. Uh yeah, his mic definitely pain. peaked. The pain in my ear, dog. He rolled a natural one. So glad I didn't have my headphones on at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're all celebrating the natural one. Uh, the genuine pop off as the dude is screaming in the uh, corner. He's like, uh, Den is fully in pain, suffering, but you get that thorn out, and as you pull it out, it is, like, solid seven and a half inches. That is a you know what? Thorn. Damn. But it was, it's gonna be a painful process. Like, and sorry for the pain. As, uh, you, as you take it out, you notice at the very end, Ruby. It's like ruby red. It's like shiny. If you know what I mean? Maybe not necessarily ruby, but it is very glass-like. What's that? Uh, he is unresponsive. He is still screaming in pain. <sighs> As you take a closer look to it, uh, the Sebex... Can I say kind of baby touching. in uh, canine? In canine? <laughs> No, and uh, Badger. And Badger. Cat looks Here up. Like Squidward. Cat looks up. Hmm. What a baby. What a baby. Uh, as you look at this little crystal esque thing, you notice that um, it's not necessarily like glass. Like, it is like glass. It's see through. It's at a very fine point, as if it was set up for something. I see. Can I examine it? Yeah. Um, how are you examining it? Um, I'm gonna grab his paw. You have, you have it's it's out of his paw. Uh, You've taken it out. I'm it's now in front of you, and he's on. rolling in pain. Like fully, like fine. rolling back and forth. Uh, He'll be fine. Swift and Burrow are deep it. sleepers, and uh, 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 Stump has been up all night. You just looking? I will examine it thoroughly. Um, like how my eye was earlier in VC, how close it was. That's how close I'm examining this thorn. Okay, you notice it is very like red. The wood has been dyed red from being, you know, embedded for so long. What you notice at the very end, though, is that piece of sharp co color is another dyed red item. You kind of you can take it out, and you notice that there's a little groove in the wood. Very small groove. And you also notice that that piece of glass was put in there. A prophet. Anyways, 
Hmm. It looks like a house dweller trap. Yeah, that's not surprising. Can I just, like, bury it? Yeah. Cool. That way nobody Any specific place you want to bury it, or just bury? Right there. Right where I pulled it out. All right. Perfectly fine. It's buried. He's got, like, 90% over it. He's still, like... Like, he's still, like, limping. But he's gotten up. As he kind of, like, looks down to you, he's like, Thank you! You're welcome. And then Bullpine Vulgarity. <laughs> vulgar, indeed. Not my problem, though. <laughs> you did ask. So... Returning with uh, bundles of rabbits, tied at the ear, over her back, uh, Hopper returns with food for seven. Thanks, Hopper. No problem. I don't yeah, understand what I'm doing order, wrong. Grub, God damn it. Your grub hop uh, order? Can I try and perfect it for Hopper? Grub hop. Like, see how Hopper's doing. Yeah, as you look, critique? as you look, as she's, like, trying to step down, uh, you notice that her legs, like, like press down really hard as she's trying to sneak so as she's stepping she's stepping very hard instead of like landing very softly and that seems to be what her issue is okay can i tell her that you tell her that mm -hmm. and she's got light step still gonna be a little bit to learn it fully but she's got it down now you got it now you just gotta master that uh, I wouldn't. I said I wouldn't believe you, but then you knew I, where I was, so. I guess I'll take that advice. Yeah. Do you need to get back to your group? You're right. I do. You can you carry some? I usually do. All right then. Well, why can't why don't one of the foxes carry them? I don't think. Or I don't know if they're coming with us or not. Well, Den seems to be in a matter of owing you. I'll ask. Well, I can ask. We can ask. We can ask. Huh. What if we ask the foxes for war support together? Oh, I'm just kidding. Yo, guys, we're are we going doing, to are... war war <laughs> for us. Are we going to do good wolf, bad wolf? Or are we going to just, like, team up on them? What are we doing? Could just ask normally. Oh, you cats and you're boring. Sorry. No offense. None taken. I've met boring cats myself. Ah, so you've met my den mate. No, 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 not cat. Boring. You meant felines. Feline. Fe. Gotcha. Well, um. I'll go try and get him up, see if he doesn't need to be carried. Why was he right. up so late? Watching, waiting for a leaf to fall to the ground. Oh my goodness. To where I put it on the ground. He's obsessed with games. That's true. You tell him one thing and he remembers the rules, but then you tell him, go chase the rabbit, and he's like, ooh, a star. I see, I see. It's like your friend, whatever his name was. The one He's that... just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> just the one that got, like, I don't know what word. Like, redid oh, by a bop on the head? Just like him. Rabbit! He just like my boyfriend, for real, for real. <laughs> just like my boyfriend, for real, for real. Oh, me when I have a boyfriend. Who did we lose? We, we, lost. we lost Scorched. Onyx, Onyx is okay. gone. That's not surprising. Me if I had a boyfriend. Uh -huh. Rabbit hears Onyx that. Onyx yawned and froze <laughs> themselves. 
Uh, so I'm yeah. gonna go ask the foxes if they would like to come along. Uh, as you get back to the foxes, uh, Den is speaking with Burrow about what that thing was that was causing his foot pain. Burrow is like, there was no way it was like that. It would have, like, you wouldn't have been able to walk. If it's wedged deep enough, you can still walk. Um, he wasn't exaggerating? No. Uh, you notice that Swift has taken off behind a tree, like, like looked at you, saw you, got excited, went behind a tree, over in the distance. Uh, so it was actually how he described it. Probably. And I bet More he was perfectly that. fine about afterwards. And she looks at him endearingly. Perfectly fine, indeed. Only the most perfect. Den perfect. looks at you and gives a like thanking nod. Like, thank you for not ruining this. I was being hella sarcastic. Uh, okay. As you can't be sneaked up on, you know that Swift is trying to jump tackle you out of excitement and thank. And he's coming up on your right. He knows he's seen, gives up chase, and uh, kind of still gives you a nudge when he gets close enough, but like not enough to move you at all. Yeah. Would you three like to accompany me? Accompany you? Where are we going? Yeah. I'm going back to my group. Oh. The other cats that help save you. And Swift. Are you sure that everything will be fine? Eh, it'll be fine. Y'all are with me. Oh, all right. I believe you. Granted, none of them like me, but none of them will do anything. So. All right. And uh, you've convinced them, and you guys will take off towards Pouts. Heading back into Pounce, it's a little bit later in the day. Mostly everyone's awake. What does people want to do over here? Thrilling commentary. Cricket noise, guys. I will check in with this small kid that was crying about Bible. Uh, she's stopped crying since, um, she regards you and's like, did you find them? Are you going to find them? We're eventually going to find them. We, my, our camp has to group up to discuss about what we should do when we find them. Uh, okay. I I'm gonna go find the other kitten. Uh, I think it'd be best if I stick with her. Alright, stay safe. And she kind of hops down. As she hops down, you hear a very loud step. As if the earth shook. Everyone else feels this too. Heading in the in the direction of Drown. So is the connection back online? Uh, every everyone is. Uh, you hear the final. Oh, I'm about to get jumped by Godzilla. What is this? <laughs> it's closer to Pounce than to you. Oh, thank God! Y'all get nuked first, not me. Is everyone here? It's just very quiet. Unusually. No, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm spacing out, though. 
Okay. Everyone. I'm here. I'm just walking in a rainstorm right now. <laughs> Why are you walking? Because if I'm she wasn't shining. Sun. Okay, fair when enough. Uh, but yeah. Shining stone. Sun. Ev everyone here hears this giant step that shakes the earth. Silver is still asleep. Uh, Silver can be awake if Silver wants to be. Silver can be awake. It's a privilege. Uh, the dogs have gotten up and are uh, getting ready, like getting the dust off their fur and getting ready to head in that direction to figure out what the fuck is going on. Uh, Fly and Shadow are nowhere to be seen, but the kits are following some something excitedly towards that direction. Ooh, I got a DM from a friend. You did. A friend of a friend. My mind is blank and my head is empty. I am ready to play as the character of Silver. Face <laughs> for real. <laughs> Being muted the whole game is my thing, guys. Come on, get your own thing. That is Sal. <laughs> oh, good one. Good one, guys. All right. Um, I kind of have no interactions. I can't really think of any that I would want to do at any given time. How would you react to the earth shaking? How would Silver react to the earth shaking? It's not trying to kill him, so he's kind of chill about it. <laughs> yeah. That, that's kind of fair. Uh, if it doesn't try to kill him immediately, there's literally nothing that can really, like, make Silver alarmed. Uh, Willow creates their physical form beside you and is alarmed. Uh, oh, no. oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, uh bad... It, it it's not it's not that bad. I mean, it could be like it could be like an earthquake or um maybe some big monster. But I mean, it's the earth, so it's fine. I smell a big monster. A big monster. Yeah, you hear it once again another stomp as the earth shakes a second time. Okay, yeah, that might be a tiny little issue. Um, I'm gonna make sure that Rabbit doesn't run into... Just run, period. He runs uh, into you. Uh, so There's, like, a giant dog coming at me! <gasps> Where oh, no. <laughs> what? what do I do? Uh, Fern, please turn off your camera. I don't know. Oh, We're recording. It's you. I don't know where to go. It's the bear. <laughs> it's the bear. <laughs> There's no bear, guys. Don't worry. What are you talking There's... about? There's no bear. <laughs> guys, Shining Stone is having a nightmare. Help her. <laughs> She's sleep talking. Uh, Deer kind of walks over. Is like, uh, are are you okay? No, I'm having dreams about giant animals. Really? They're gonna get me, yeah. Well, uh, there might be a giant animal this way. Let's not make it a dream. Come on. He kind of gets you. Oh, huh? lovely. <laughs> Just a cat who wants Capri Suns. Just a cat who wants Capri Suns. Not too uh, hard to ask Silver, Silver would love a Capri Sun right now. He knows of their existence and... He can canonically open one and drink it. Yeah, he's I got very over. true. Get, he's he's dexterous some. enough. It freaked me out. Uh, River and Leaf uh, exit the den at the top of the stone face. And they both uh, slide down and head in the direction of the giant beast. Or so they assume. Uh, overpowered makes their way over. Eye and jaw make theirs. 
So it's just the players now. Who wants to go? <laughs> and if you don't want to go, why? <laughs> For getting <laughs> No! <laughs> For getting mauled after Grey Raven. <laughs> no! For get mauled at your own time. <laughs> You just don't get mauled, please. Yeah, stop being so selfish, for <laughs> At this point, I'm just going to assume you guys are uh, heading that direction. We've been chilling. So for this combat, I'm going to make it much easier on myself. The initiative is as follows. Fuck, I, this pen is not working. Need new pen. New pen. We got NPCs. Allied. We got Doug. We got Gumdrop. We got a Pax Agomenon. We got Silver. We got Willow. Oh, I forgot to do Tranquil after Gumdrop. We got Fox Lee, or we got, no, we got Tide, that's his name. Tide, we got Haphazard Lego Man. We got Tide, we got Sebex. We got Rue. We got Finley. We got Eclipse. We got Nero. And we got Shining. Cool. All right. So this is going to look really cool in the video. So if you want to see this, you have to watch the video. But as I press this button, we now see the map. As you guys see this giant beast, almost larger than a building. Wow. That's a big boy, Silver says. Ah. Is it? Is it really? Yeah, it could be a big girl. True. Could just be a big bear. Could be. Could be, <laughs> be non-binary. Could be non-binary. 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 <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna send this to you guys, just so you guys can see that. I'm I'm sure you guys already know, but sending it anyway. There's that. I'm going to real quick move NPCs and calculate their damage. So give me like two minutes max. And if you are up for uh, abilities, please give me those uh, abilities and be ready. Swift charges in, Den charges in, Burrow charges in. I can click buttons. Time to get some popcorn. Yeah, popcorn is fine. Enjoy your popcorn. Yeah, let me buy a large soda. Where's the concession stand, by the way? The concession yeah, stand? Yeah, who wants Capri Sun? I found... Uh, wolves dash in. Slump... Um, slump runs over to Tide. Popper charges in. Cat goes in. Tiles are four feet, right? Yeah, tiles are four feet. If you if you are on your own tile, it's because you are fighting alone. Damage numbers. Do, 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 do. We're just for those already. Got a decent chunk there. Uh drown camp. Branch goes in. Pine cone. Heads closer to the players is going... Or no, not Pinecone. Elephie is going to go closer to the players and do a thing. Rabbit. Going to run over here. I love how the stream can see this live, but no one else can. Oh, the drown kits. They're going to go away. 
In reality, it's actually just 50 bears really close to each other. <laughs> so, so why? It's like Sharknado, but with bears. Bear-nado. Boulder's going to stand behind the wolves. Root is going to go in. Stripes is going to go in. 150 cat-sized bears or 50... Stone. Wait. Can't quite make it. Spider is going to go. He's going to make a dash. Dogs. Uh, Everyone loves the I... dogs. Harvey, I think you want to correct the type. Do you mean one bear-sized cat or 50 cat-sized bears? Try moves a total of two feet or four feet at him at one tile because he's very fast. Don't worry about it. Uh, the kids are going to run up together with the other kits because they see kits and they're going to have fun and play while this is happening. All the kits are going to attack on ambush. Actually, no, they're going to stay back a little bit. All right. That was great. Uh, total damage for that. If I can calculate quickly, because I just did that. Definitely. Approximately... You're cutting out bad. Well, we're fighting for our lives over here. Huh? I think they're dead. Yeah, Fern's cutting out bad. You okay? Fern? No, no, combat is cheap. Johnny, so no! It was the dog! Fern found the bear. So, uh, total damage for all of that, I think, is about. 500? Are we guys good for 500 so I don't have to calculate actual individual numbers? That'd be great. Cool, we're gonna go with 500. I'll do 525, just to spite you. Damn it. Sure, uh, that's, N that's NPCs. So, uh, next in line is going to be... Onyx. Onyx is going to do the first listed ability that he gave me, because he gave me 20 moves. So I asked for it. First of which is going to be... Attentive. They're going to look for... Hidden combatants. Are they going to look for anything they should notice? Let's see what they roll. There's a bear. They, they notice a bear. They, they know there's a bear. The hairs, the hairs, the inner hairs of the bear, they can see another bear. And within the hairs of that bear, they can see another Onyx, bear. Onyx can see a bear. That's what Onyx can see. Uh, Douglas, you're up. What you want to do? Uh, just immediately slipstream charge into it. Slipstream charge? All right. Yeah. One second, I need to add a thing. That's visible enough, right? No? Cool. Slipstream! Get you guys a screenshot of that. Slipstream charge, what's your damage? Uh, base damage is 16. 16? Yeah. Is that the to your total damage for this? Attack? Uh, no. Uh... How far am I going? Uh, you are going uh, four times. You're going twenty feet. Wait, so how many tiles is that? Uh, that'll be ten tiles in regular. This is just a zoomed out map. Oh. I also drew this. I also drew the slipstream on the map. Don't you guys love that? Isn't it so cool? 80, I think. 80? Cool, so 96 damage. Alright. 80 plus 16? Anyways, after you go, it's going to be Gumdrop and then Tranquil. Gumdrop, what you want to do? So I will move 
four and a half tiles to the left. Four, why four and a half? 18, 18 movement speed. Uh, no, you can go the fifth one. You make it into that other four by four tile. So you can go move five right. tiles if you want to the left. Yeah, so five tiles to the right. The right, right? The left, I mean. Uh, I was starting to get worried for myself. So then um, Gumdrop is going to look like they're going to uh, roar upwards, but instead of a roar, it is a cacophony of various animal sounds. Ah! And I will Hunter's Rally. Hunter's Rally. Nicely done. Why do you need to roll for that? Uh, Fox? Uh... Why do we roll for it? I don't remember. I'm trying to figure out why we roll for it. Do acts first. Because that's No, we're not doing I I'm I'm doing initiative based off the height in the call so we can get it done faster. Oh, I see. So you do Hunter's Rally. Um, it's going to be harder to scare NPCs and players that are on the right side of the bear. So where the B is, anyone on the right cannot be scared. For the first time they are scared. Thumbs up. Tranquil, what's Tranquil doing? I think I'm going to... Tranquil is going to move towards the group of cats... To the top top right corner of the bear. Okay. Uh, Tranquil has a high crystal speed. And she is right beside... Uh, who is this? I don't remember who that is. That's not Eclipse. That's not... El is it Elipi? Probably Elipi. Yeah. She's right beside Elipi. The E above the O. And that'll be the turn. All right. Uh, after that, it's going to be Hapax, Silver on deck. Um, I think the first thing I'll do is just come at a safe distance. So I'll just I'll just use tactical insight. Um, because I want I want to know what the bear's going to do first. The bear is going to. I'm going to roll the bear's die now, and then I'll tell you what the bear's going to do. Okay. The bear rolled a nineteen. Number 19 on my list is it's going to strike in the direction it's facing. So it's meaning the four uh, the four cats or dogs or species or Chris, creatures above it. That's forward. So Hopper, Cat, uh, Branch, and Pinecone are going to get hit. Okay. That's what it plans um, to do. Can I, communicate, can I communicate this with the team? Yeah. That's what I'll do. Alrighty. With, any, with anyone close enough, I can. You can communicate to them. They don't have an action to do something currently. But you have told them the bear is going to strike forward. Is it possible that I could move close enough to the cats that are about to be struck to warn them? Yeah, you, you are close enough. But I can move then, you closer yeah, if you wish. You just, they can't, they don't have, they've already used their action. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. They're kind of screwed then. Um, oh, I don't know what to do. Do you want to ask what they're going to do after that? Because I can roll the other die and tell you. Sure, yeah. All right, I'm going to roll the second bear move. That's a 14. Bear rolls. It's going to roll to the right. Meaning I'm going to flip the bear onto its back and then over again. Essentially, it just moves over seven tiles and anyone in the way gets crushed damage. 
Oh, that's fun. That's a lot of cats. Yeah. But you know what it's going to do in turn two. Athlete. Am I still able to move? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can still move. That ta that's okay. tactical as your your action. Yeah. So I'm going to move south down. You're going to move south? All right. Cool. Out of the out of the roll. Out of the roll. Yeah, out of danger zone. Out of the danger zone. All right. Anything else from you? As far as I can. As far as you can. That um, I got you. As far as you can. How far? Wait. How far can I go? How many towers? Uh, from your previous position, you can go down to below Nero. That's fine then. Yeah. Do that. That'll uh, be that. Updated map sent to you. Guys, now know the bears. Next move. Uh, Silver, you're up. Willow on deck. Okay, so Silver's current plan is... So, uh, for the people, what does Douglas's slide do? Uh, Douglas's slipstream does, after dashing allies next to you or following you, will get a speed boost up to your max speed on their next turn. They also can apply a free of damage equal to a single bite or single claw if they entered the slipstream or started beside Douglas. Okay, am I currently out of the bear's vision? The bear is facing up, but it can like look to its side. So the current the current everything it can see is den den boulder burrow the ones in front uh I know names I know what your name is. I'm not going to look it up. What is your name? River and Deer. So that's kind of where its head is. Awesome. So that means I can run right next to it with, like, next to Douglas. Yeah, like, to the left of Douglas, and then just sneak attack, right? Uh, who's the other? Who's this? But who do I do I want to do that? Wait. Oh crap! No, I thought it was spider. Never mind. I found silver. Never mind. I guess just get as close to the bear as possible. Okay. Going direct. You were here. I was next to Hapax, correct? You were, and Hapax moved down. Yep. Got it. I'm going to let you get into the slipstream through Elipi. So you have the slipstream, which gives you another 20 movement, so you can get to the Baron attack. How's it okay. sound? I don't know if I want to attack in this turn. I think I want to get at a safe distance, let's say just directly behind Douglas. Okay. Uh, and then um, start creating a trap. Creating a trap? Yeah, equip is what it's called, I think. Alrighty. Uh, let me know what the trap In does when it's triggered. Willow's yeah. turn. So Willow is. Um, do I control this? Uh, you can, or you can leave it to me, and I'll do funny things. You know, uh, Willow, you've got this. Alrighty. Willow is going to run in and jump up onto the bear and start digging. His claws in. Yo, what a beast. Uh, after Willow is going to be tied, Sebex are up, followed by Rue. Tied, what you want to do? What you going to do? It's my turn already. What you going to do? Um... Let's see. We've got the jumble of people on just this bear already. Yep. It's quite funny. Mm. Where's Rabbit? Rabbit? Rabbit's back there. Yeah, Rabbit's back there. Mm. I have a speed boost, right? Uh, if you enter the slipstream, yes. I was right next to Douglas. Now. Uh, were you next to Douglas initially, or did you move next to him? I haven't moved at all. Yeah. Uh, you got the slipstream. 
So you have uh, 20 movement added to yours. Okay. Has anybody taken damage? Uh, n except for the bear, no. Hey, Fox. Do you know what would be pretty funny? <laughs> if Silver healed the bear. What would be really funny, Mabu? Enlighten me. You know, what if um you... Um, so you know when you're fighting a wild Pokemon and they use heal pulse? Yes. Yeah. That heals the enemy. No. Simple as that. Anyways. Where's the bear attacking again? Which side? Uh, up. So, uh, Hopper, Cat, Branch, and Pinecone are in danger. God damn it. Three of the four. Mother... Okay. I will go ahead and make my way up. Huh? Make your way up? Yeah. Not in the range of an attack, but on standby. Just waiting to heal any poor soul that gets attacked. Are you wanting to get out of the way of the second attack, too? Yes. I cool. would like to not get hit. Cool, because you know the second attack is a roll. Yes, yes, I would like to not be in that. All right, uh, Ty, that's movement. Anything else from you, or do you want your Sabax to go? I can use Inspire here. You can. Which cat are you inspiring? Give... Oh, I can inspire multiple things, right? Uh, that's how it's done with Inspire. Yes, but it has to be from like one line. Like you can't just like scream into the sky and inspire everyone. Everyone. Kill the fucker! <laughs> That'll give everyone one HP. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Well, that's actually goaded! I can just heal everybody and do infinite damage. I love that. No, that, that's not, because it's not healing. It's a temp HP that you're giving them. Yes, but then I could heal them afterwards. But you don't heal them anyway, after that um, one HP. I would, okay. So, I can only use one line, right? To inspire people. Yeah. Uh, I'll inspire the top four then. Alrighty. You inspire the top four. Once again, that does what again? I remember things. I'm good at math. They get damage reduction on the next attack and uh, plus four Some damage. 20 next... temp HP. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Advantages on all rolls while this lasts. Um, yes. All right. Got that noted. Um, after Tide is Sebex. Sebex are going to do chomp, what? Chomp. chomp, chomp. Okay, how many Sebex are there? Uh, scrolling in. Uh, 14. There's 14. 14? Cool. Okay. I love how I just, like, in the, in the video, I scrolled it on the Sebex. Okay, <laughs> and counted okay. them. Okay. So, for Sebex, I have this brilliant plan. Mm hmm Seven Sebex go on to the bear. The other seven Sebex, four of them will go to the top four. Okay. Waiting to heal them. And then three, the other three, will be with me, including the main one. Okay. I'm just going to hide the Sebex token and write that down. You're welcome. I need to have shields in case everything goes wrong. Don't worry, guys. I'm putting in the effort and fighting. Just with the crystal and far away. Simple. Alrighty. After Sebex is Rue, Finley on deck. Rue is going to fade from existence. And then reappear on top of the bear. And is going to disappear once again. But the bear does not seem happy. I was about to say, like, man, I really wish I could just fade out of existence. <laughs> Pull a shining stone. Same, same <laughs> Malibu, same. Capri Sun. Uh, Finley, you're really, up. Eclipse on deck. I really want a Capri Sun right now. 
I got you, Malibu. Don't worry. Let me find your address again. I won't be there for much longer, so you better hurry. Are you moving? No. Oh, poor boys from Mario 64. Uh, no. <laughs> Eclipse, be ready after Finley is done. Get as close to the bear as possible. Uh, the slipstream is there. You can you can touch the bear. You can be like, boop, and you touch the bear. What do you want to do to the bear? Just be there. Just be there by bear. Hit it. What's your damage? Be mean, insult it. You can either hit it or insult it. Your choice. Uh, you do 16 damage on attack. Hurt its feelings. So you're not going to hit it? You're going to hit it? You're not going to hurt its feelings. Cool. All right. After that, just say a safe distance and fierce up like a Chad and stand there menacingly. Uh, currently, your position that you are assuming is rather safe, but you can move down uh, completely safe and do your fierce up, stand there menacingly. The bear will take one damage from you fiercing because you are cool as shit. And then we're going to go to Nero. Shiny stones on deck. Gumdrop, did you move? Yeah, I moved the uh, five feet to the left. Ah, cool. Tiles, I mean. Shining Stone, you're up. I'm going to move Nero. Uh, giant fucker he is, is going to go up to the bear and do a devastating slash. Burn, are you here? Burn, are you okay? Curious. The I'm gonna ping. For... I'm here. I ah, just can't run because I wear socks. Ah. You're so... Sorry. You lived. You lived. What you wanna do in combat? Uh, what's the thing where I can, like, punch the bear and, like, kill it? Uh, you can use your herbalist to attack. That. You have to get closer. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, uh, you can make it to the can slipstream this closer? turn. You can't make it to the slipstream this turn. I'm just barely out of range. But you did move closer. Okay, ready can to I at least fun. get, like, close to it? You're moving fully closer. You just, when I sent the initial, gotcha. does this look okay? You were the furthest away. Okay. I'm on uh, my way. After Shining Stone is going to be the bear's first turn. It's going oh, to no. scratch the cat in front. Um, Remind me what I said the wolf's health were. Did I specify in your DMs, Fox? I'll take it as a no. Maybe. Double checking. HP for wolves. No clue. Cool. I'm just going to use what I had them statted as earlier with the previous wolves. With the 50% damage reduction on the next attack, the only one standing is, uh, actually no. A uh, pinecone goes down, the other three are bloody. Eclipse mark, uh, Eclipse mark four. And then that's branch. Uh, 
the temp HP um, and the damage reduction is not enough to prevent a child from getting one shot from that attack. Oh. It's a bear. Children, man. <laughs> All right. After that is done, we're going to do the NPCs round again. None of them are going to do shenanigans except for Boulder. Where's Boulder? There he is. Boulder. Going to move beside Pinecone and give him the one ally buff specifically. Who are you? You're Stone. Stone. He's going to move there. Spider is going to jump over cats, get onto the bear to attack. Maybe a little bit more damage for NPCs. I think the kits are going to move up. Do a swing. And Try is going to move another tile. Let's go, Try. You got this. As he moves another, four feet closer. Good job, Try. Another bout of damage from the NPCs adds the total up to that. Meaning damage thus far is this number here, which actually is a very beautiful number. But speaking of beautiful numbers, Onyx is up. Onyx's ability that he's set aside is sharp. Sharp means sharp tongue. If I have to roll a d20, I have to roll it a second time and roll the lower number. NPCs did their things. Douglas, you're up. Uh, can I get a map update? Map update? No. Oh, well. There's no map. Oh, alright. Uh, just smack it. Smacking. Who said there was a map? Maps don't exist. That look good? You want to hit it? You hit your do your, yeah. your damage is sixteen. Yep. Cool. All right. After Doug is Gumdrop, Tranquil Hapax on deck. If I enter the slipstream, will I be able to enter a space in which I can attack the bear? Uh, yes. Uh, for the reminder, right, so the bear is going to be uh flipping this this round because of the insight you got. The bear's going to be rolling to the right. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'll do that. I'll, I'll get in a position to attack the bear. All right. Entering the slipstream. I'm, you're going to see the little movement I do to get you in the slipstream. But you'll just see the end result when I send there. The boom, boom, wee. Bam. You attack the bear. Uh, base damage or doing some shenanigans? Um, I'm going to Dreadful Claw. Dreadful Claw. Let's go. Roll a d10. That's a six. What is your damage times eight? 60. No, 60? Your damage times eight? Oh, times eight. No, you attack, you, no, sorry. You attack six times because of the dreadful claw and one extra because of the slipstream. So it's 70 from gumdrop. Alrighty, that's that done. After Gumdrop, Tranquil, a Pax on deck. Silver to follow. What do you want Tranquil to do? I don't think they can do anything this turn. Alrighty. Tranquil's just going to chill there. Unless you, want, unless you want her to move or anything. A Pax. I uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. I guess Tranquil can move towards uh whoever J is so that they're in the middle of like the middle between the top and bottom. Wait, so they move down into the left one tile? I don't know where Tranquil's token is. Uh it's where it is in the screenshot. But I but you said you wanted to move it closer to J. Yes.
Uh, sorry, I'm getting notifications from someone who is very definitely not distracting me with very exciting things. How dare you? <laughs> Love you, Fern. Uh, anyway, Tranquil has moved. Uh, yeah, cool. Apax, you're up. Silver on deck. Willow to follow. Um, so if I were to use Ally's aid right now, who would I I be close enough to to use that? I know Onyx is there. I can help. Um, Onyx. is your Ally's aid touched now, or is it just is it sight now? Um, oh, I can't remember. Probably touch. You get a buff now. It's sight. Okay. Enjoy the buff. <laughs> um. So yeah, who would I be close enough right now to? Who can you see? I don't know. Let me get the map. I said the map. I know. But I can't have... Whatever. <laughs> you may send the map that the only move is one tranquil. No, I just I just needed to get my Discord on my phone because I couldn't get it on my laptop and look at the pinned messages that tell me what the <laughs> Allies 8 does. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um... I, can, I can send that to you again. Also, Allies 8, if you want to do it on a uh, character you haven't used it on before, I will tell you what it does after you use it. Sent again. There you go. Thank you. I can help Gumdrop, but he's just used his turn, so it wouldn't be much use there. Shining Stone. Um, I could help Silver right now. I could ask Silver if he needs help. Give him the uh, two point five perception rolls. That'd be useful here. You roll a Wait twenty, it becomes a fifty. You see everything. You see God, <laughs> and you see that he is transgender. You see God, and you realize it's nine random people in, from the Midwest, United States, <laughs> and from the middle of Europe in a Discord call. <laughs> Discord is now Hapax is now aware of the existence of Discord. Yasser's already told him about Discord. He now sees it. He now actually believes it. Apax joins the call. <laughs> <laughs> Canonical Apax <laughs> real. Oh, I love it. He joins call. It's just like, alright, who's responsible for bringing silver into this world? <laughs> <laughs> Who Apax did gets it? pissed. Who he goes it? off. Alright, what you want to do, Apax? Also, there, do the... there is so many other allies you could just try something with. I did not spend an hour writing all of these things for you not to use it. I can't remember the name. <laughs> who is who? There's so many letters. Do you want me to send you the list of names? I can send you the list of names. <laughs> I just don't know who's who on the map because they're all just one letter at this point. There's so many characters, I'm sorry. List of I names. Let's see what I did last time and fucking. Just find out what the bear's gonna do and act accordingly. All right. So you know the bear. The next move the bear is gonna do is gonna roll over. It's the roll, yeah. After that, let's see. Um, you know the bear is going to use some sort of magic, and the bear is going to, on turn <laughs> three, the bear is going to decide in the moment. That's what I have written down. But I don't have a map update enough to say it decides in the moment. So it's like, I need to figure that out. The bear has not yet decided what it's going to do. But it plans to oh. do some sort of damage. I don't really know what to do about the whole magic thing. <laughs> that could be basically anything. Um, could just ask Yastrix what Yeah, magic. I was going to say, Yastrix, what, what kind of things is this bear capable of? Well, as far as I'm aware, this bear seems to be... Hmm, I haven't really seen this bear before. I haven't even seen a bear this big. Looks like Molly's doing. I wonder where your friend Pumpkin is. Whatever it is, it doesn't last that long. Does the magic that it's going to do? Oh, the magic! If this this creature isn't destroyed by twenty turns, the magic will remain forever. 
okay, whatever it does. <laughs> Damn, despair is massive. Eh, probably volleyball. SMH, silly Billy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> What a what a what a quirky guy! Killer. What a what a quirky like, guy! So goofy and silly. <laughs> what a what a weird guy! <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll give you another uh, tactical question because the I literally have written down decide in the moment, and I don't know what that means. I think I wrote that because if someone pisses me off, I can just kill them, because the bite does four hundred damage. Okay, I will ask if the bear has a weakness, like a weak spot or something particular attack. Uh, damage to the bear's... Oh, sorry. Yasser's voice. Well, um, damage to the magical points, if you can find where the crystal is, is, uh, weaker, as well as damage to the belly and, and back. Okay, I'm gonna communicate this to anyone around me. But how much HP does it have? Well... We know it's a lot. I don't think that's the first thing on our mind right now. We need to know what it's going to do that's going to kill us all. Can I counterspell the bear? No. Wait. Maybe. Maybe. I'm doing so dude. roll a d20. Okay, 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 okay. Do your thing. Do it. Roll a do natural it. one. <laughs> do your thing. Natural one. Don't drop. How are you trying to counterspell it? The, with okay, no? to be fair, I did split the difference, guys. That is true. Gumdrop, are you trying to use no on this? Is that what you're trying That's to do? That's my only counter spell. No. Enemy ability to apply buffs or negate Ooh. another crystal. Yeah, uh, it's not a crystal command nor a buff. However, it might help. It might help you. Maybe not you specifically, but uh, the person who volunteered to go first. It's over. We'll see. Oh. Bye, Silver. Hey, Silver, you ready for your, your turn? Or Pax, yeah. do you want to do anything else? Or just stay where you are? Um, I think I might move left a little bit. Just move to left? Kind of get away from move being to the, the left. target. Moving to the left. Moving to the left, you're over there. Yeah, thank you. Silver, you're up, tied on deck. Can I do the thing? Uh, the thing? Yeah, I want to do the thing. What thing? Do I really have to look it up? Okay, let me figure out what I called it. What? What? Isn't it? it isn't it? Isn't it just called wolf form? Isn't it just called wolf's form? Or is uh, that? Is that that's something. That's something you do with Willow. Oh well. You can try I it. Can you can try it with the blue. Uh, oh no! You can use. You can use wolf's howl. I could do Wolf's Howl, but that will do literally nothing except make the bear look at me. Which is not the But then it will roll to the really so roll to the other side and crush the other group. Fair that is fair, that is fair. But but um I have I have my trap made. Okay, what is your trap made? Um, it is triggered. Triggered. No, it's triggered. Mm -hmm. Um, when anybody that doesn't have light step, um, were to step on it, the bear and, definitely does um, not have light step. Yeah, but also, if anything else were to not have light step and step over it, it would also activate. I gotta keep it somewhat realistic. Gotcha. Cool, cool. Um, I <laughs> plant the trap. I plant the trap. Um. To the left of Douglas, and then proceed. Can I still move after the? You're putting action? it underneath the bear. Yes, because he's gonna roll, right? I mean, it's gonna hit. Yeah, it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit. Just gonna hit immediately. Yeah. What's damage on the trap? What's damage on the trap? I think I, I think my question though. Okay, cool. I'm I'm making it twenty five. Okay, cool. I also am gonna run right behind him, and at the same time, the trap goes off. I'm gonna sneak attack him. Well, I'm, I'm gonna sneak it. Wait, can I climb up on the bear too? Uh, you'd have to climb over Douglas and do Douglas one damage. Douglas. You, you gotta hear funny. me out, man. It'd be funny. That's what I'm saying. You climb up onto the bear? Pack it while I'm on the bear. Roll it. 
Uh, Douglas, you take one oh. damage. Ow. God, okay, what do I roll for this? I forgot. Also, uh, Douglas, can you roll on the uh, permanent body damage chart? Uh, uh, roll me a d100 and don't roll any number that ends with a 5. So Which, I normally do 14. Where am I rolling? I, uh, a d100 in general chat. Alright. Don't, don't roll a number that ends with five. with 5. If it starts oh, with a 5, it's bad. Fun. If it ends with a 5, it's bad. Uh-oh. Right, right. Uh, Douglas, you are concussed, meaning your next attack will do half damage. Damn it. Uh, so your sneak attack is 10d4 plus your regular damage, or just 10d4? 10d4 plus regular damage. Extra damage. Cool. And you're doing because a scratch, like, or are you doing a bite? I'm gonna go... Is my jaw fixed? No. You haven't been using it. You've been talking, but you haven't been using your jaw. Alright, I'm gonna go claw. Claw? Cool. So you're gonna do 54 damage? Which, yeah. is, which is doubled. Let's go top advantage. 54. I have the high ground. 108, so that's this number I'm writing down now. That's actually like yeah, the uh, decent chunk of damage that Silver's ever done. It'll be the last time he does it as a cat. What? After Pardon. Silver is Willow. Willow's going to attack, do his base damage, but doubled. It's going to do that, so it's going to be that number I'm writing down. Uh, quick question. Yeah? You are implementing the number of damage that all seven subects are doing against the bear every turn, right? Yeah, I just have it uh separately okay. written down. Just making sure. Just making sure. Is that added to a health pool? Do I need to keep that number actually updated? Yes, it, it adds on to the health pool. <laughs> okay, what is the actual damage on the specs again? Um. Well, since the main one's not on there, it is seven, I think, on one. So every, every turn, it's seven damage. Okay, so the specs were on your turn. Uh, it's five damage on player character turns, and then for two one on not. And then there's bleed. And then there's bleed two added on to that. I don't know if that does anything, but uh, bleed two is uh, a damage per turn. Yeah, yeah. So there are for that and that. So when I... it's not a player character turn, it's only two damage. Do you think I know this number? Yes. How many NPCs are there? There are, I believe, if I'm not wrong, more than 14. Bucci! How many NPCs are there? You did your math earlier. How many NPCs? One, two. 51? Cool! 102 for each NPC turn. Thank you. That's so much damage it takes every NPC turn. I'm doing something, guys. Don't cool. worry. Cool. I'm just writing that number down, and then we'll keep track of it after that. After that. So, Silver, you did your thing. Willow did his thing. Uh, after that is where the fuck are you? Tide and Sebex. Yo. So, uh, people got injured last fight or just a second ago, right? First four. Uh, yes. Uh, Hopper. Hopper, Cat, Cat, and Branch each took thirty damage. Pinecone got knocked out. Not 30. Okay. Well, there's a Sebek yeah, on all four of them. Ta uh, Pinecone's only knocked out. Yeah, uh, he got knocked out. He has 29. 29 what? Health. Left? No. 29 health max. Oh, uh, okay. So he just got taken um, out. Okay, so... Oh, wait, no. I have it wrong. It's 20, not 29. I don't know why I thought it was 29. Uh, is a back on all of them. Seven Sebeks are already siphoning health with each bite. The that pool currently the is 107. And that can be okay. distributed on Sebeks' turn, not yours. I know. Can I... Okay. Where... Could I get Pinecone and then go back to the spot I'm at currently? Uh... In one turn? It'd be a DC5. No. Five. So be a 5. That's be 5 or higher. Okay. We'll see. 
I'm going to roll this, and this is going to go terrible. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's five. Oh. <laughs> uh, Pinecone is on your tile, but I'm going to move him to the tile above just so you know. Yeah. So you've gotten to Pinecone moved. Uh, these NPCs on the side don't seem to care they're about to get crushed by a bear. Which NPCs? Uh, everyone on the right side. They just keep attacking. Uh, that doesn't include me, right? No, you're out of the range. Okay, so it's R D L E J D F, right? Yeah, and heading all the way over to Shining Stone. Oh, that sucks for y'all. I'm glad I got out of the way. Oh, no! I'm glad I got out of the way. Shining Stone, you still have a turn before it. Can I move? Still have a turn Do before it. Have... Okay, good. Is my boyfriend about to get crushed? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Probably. Oh, okay, so dang. him. Sucker. Do I still have a turn as tied, Tyson? Uh, you've moved a uh, pine cone. You've used your bonus action herbalist to move a da down flare. You have your action. Okay, I'm gonna. Hmm, I'm gonna heal pine cone. Uh, back to a hundred. Once for combat on him. Yeah. Uh, I was just gonna use regular herbalist on him to wake him up from knockout. Just smack him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Pinecone is back up at one HP. Cool. Cool. You're you're gonna stay there. <laughs> You'll go when I say you can go. He is and very dizzy. That's understandable. There is uh, at, uh, on him. You notice that there's like large claw marks, but you also notice it's not bleeding. See. So you can blood. you can see. You can see his ribs, but it's not bleeding. That's fine. He'll be fine. We lost Malibu. Malibu, what the fuck? Where is Malibu? Malibu's gone. He'll okay. be back. Is he, is he gone, gone, or is he going to be back? Uh, that's a great question. When I'm gone. Oh. When I, actually, I'm trying not to sing, because I don't get DMC8. Um, so yeah, that's uh, all of Tide's turn. Uh, Sebex. I'm gonna just, you know, use the healing pool on the top three now, since Pinecone's been moved. Boulder, I don't think, has taken any damage. No. Right? The top three are gonna heal them for the 30 missing? Yes. So that's 90 healing. Your pool is now down to uh, 19. That's fine. For the health pool. Uh, Hopper, Cat, and Branch are back to full. Uh, Can I no. Heal Douglas for 1 HP? No. No. I'm Just sorry, fuck Dad. Douglas. Uh, I'm, sorry, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You could heal Pinecone to full. If you heal Pinecone to full, you have a spec on you. I know I have I have three specs on me. Yeah. I meant to say Sebex on you. Yes, yes. And you have 19 so. health in the health pool, and Pinecone's at 19, or minus, or down 19 health out of, from full. Oh, well, that's right. So somehow it was very Sebex. poetic. That I worked. Heal. Oh, Malibu needs to be let back up. But Malibu! We love Malibu. Pine cone, unfortunately. Children, am I right? Children, yeah. So, a bear alone. everyone's back to full health after all the damage I tried to deal. You're Thanks, welcome. guys. Ha <laughs> ha. Sucker. No tied. Absolutely not. You guys would be screwed. Uh, anything else on your turn? Or Sebex turn? Or are you moving any of them around? Or are you going to recall the Sebex that went to Pinecone? Uh, recall that. Um, is the one on next to Pinecone still there? Uh, the one that's on Pinecone is on Pinecone right now. And you use okay. the healing on him. He can stay with Pinecone. Uh, you have, I'm going to write down on, like, right beside your name, that you have healed 119 health for no reason. For no reason at all, guys. No reason. Infinite damage. No, 109 health. My bad. Yo, so, guys. Someone's about to get in the comments. Guys, yeah, just So, I'm going to move, move it down to two on Tide and one on Pinecone. Uh, the one with the blue crystal, is that on Pinecone or is that on you? That's my OG, my home, if you think with me. All right. Uh, what is the Lapazuli cat doing on its turn? Never mind. 
I don't you don't know, know what it can do. Me. Because exactly. I like asking you, okay? Uh, Rue is going to do a fuck ton of damage. After Rue is going to be Finman. Finman, what you want to do? Hmm. I'm going to step away for just a second. How's everyone doing? Yo, guys, look at this buffoonery named Smog Uchiha. I'm gonna stop before Smog comes and gets me. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Go to sleep, Smog. <laughs> Go to sleep, Smog. Hi, Smog. Hello. Hi, Smog. The guest to me appearance. Just listening in. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, so hi, Fern. Uh, hey. The guest player who's playing the bear is here. <laughs> we finally lured you out. Oh god, now I must run. <laughs> the bear's gonna get you. Oh, Smog made it in time. Close. There we go. I'm unmuted. So, Sal, what you doing? Hurt the bear? You punch the bear in its stomach, it gets mad, it's next turn. Eclipse, what you doing? Gods lend me strength. All right. Fury of the deity. Move on. The shit won't go down. Yeah, you just want to stare at it. All right. Staring. Nice stare. It's fun. Nero is going to dig into the bear's back. It's not going to be happy. So I believe that's going to be, yeah, that's the right amount of damage. Uh, after Nero, Shining Stone, final turn before the bear. What you want to do? Um. Well, if the bear's coming, like, gonna crush me, I want to move out of the way. And can I like yell at deer to move too? What? Uh, what? Yeah, you can. Yay! I thought you wanted to do your percent health damage. Uh, I'm not sure. Not sure? Nah. Okay. So you're going to get out of the way, deer, tell deer to move? Yeah, deer, get out of the way. Alright, uh, deer on his action will move. Enter the slipstream, go down. You're out of the way. Uh, deer is a uh, love interest. After deer is the bear. The bear is going to do funky things. The first thing the bear is going to do is it's going to roll. Now, if you're watching the video, you'll see this really cool animation of me making it roll. Where is the button? I can't find the button. Where is the button? Wait, so it needs to go to there, I think. Yeah, there's about right. So I need to write down damage for these. Uh, Willow is dissipated. Nero is dissipated because of the damage. Uh, Tranquil uh, dissipated. Can join, can be back. 
Um, River takes 25. Deer takes 25. Leaf takes 25. Essentially, everyone on that side took 25. And if you're on the bear, you took 50. Me forgetting that I'm on top of the bear. How much health do you have left? Or do you have health left? Or are you just unconscious on top I of the bear? I have 32 health. Uh, not anymore. Not anymore. Um, in the absence of a silver from underneath the bear... You guys see something else. Just a second, I need to put in the right, right thing. Just need to do that, and then this. Why is it not working? You're making me upset now. There After we go. After five minutes of attempting, they're just like, you know what? Yeah, silver dies. <laughs> you know, you don't see silver. What you do see, however, is a wolf. A green wolf. Uh, Spider is is down where he, sta where he stands. Oh, no. Get crushed. Spider's down. All those... People on the side took 25 damage. And yeah, you guys have a wolf friend now. Uh, by the way, Silver, you are at full health. You have a wolf's moveset, and you have 75 health. You need to write that down, though. Also, you do hear a voice. Is it Willow's? One down, nine to go. And you do not hear oh. Willow. Oh. That's what you hear. Oh. Can I ask what direction I heard it from? Inside your head. And the bear. Somehow all at once. Yeah, uh, but it's not helpful. Oh, wait, can I accurate criticism check it? Uh, you have not heard the voice before, but you heard, uh, Gumdrop describe the voice. So you know Gumdrop knows what it is. Uh, Onyx... ...is down. Actually, Onyx being down... Need to do something else. It doesn't thematically look different, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Uh, bam. Bam, let me get, let me find it. We have that Onyx now. Wait, Onyx has evasive, right? Oh yeah, he does. Never mind, ignore me. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, Finley took 25, which is actually, Finley took 10. Uh, Gumdrop, you taking the 25? Or are you evading? I'll take it. Take it? Cool. Alright, I think that's everyone. No, it is not. Onyx used evasive. LP took damage. Who's that S there? That was behind Onyx. Who are you? It's not a dog. It's not someone from Bite. It's not you. Not that. Oh, it was Stump! No! Stump is down. Wait, no, Stump's not down. Stump's a wolf. My bad. Uh, so yeah. Gumdrop's bloody. Uh, NPC's turn. 
One second, I need to add your number now. Since there's however many NPCs, I'm going to add that number now. You have one, two, one. That bear takes 109. Which, actually, the damage total is this year. Um, and then I add the actual traditional damage from the and from the fighters. I can write numbers down, which I believe was this number. But people are down. People are not in the way. Oh, people have to have to move. I have to move people. I shouldn't have added this one. Damn it! It's fine. It's fine. Hopper moves her distance. Cat moves the distance. Move distance. Uh, fly goes over, shadow goes over. Overpower. Root makes his way over. Spider is down. Stone moves towards Spider. We'll use his ability on him. Need be. Boulder moves towards Pinecone. The dogs, they'll just move together as a pack. Get it because they're a pack. Except for Try. Try needs to move back now. Because Try doesn't move very far. Imagine not In the having storm that four legs. Approach. Silver, I'm about to make that you. Huh? Huh? You heard me. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little rude. A smidge. You know what? To be fair, I was being rude too, so you know. <laughs> we have fun. We have fun. We're nice to each other. I take some movement. Jaw makes his move into the slipstream, gets a free attack. Uh, so yeah, that's everyone's gonna move. And actually, a surprisingly low amount of damage for a NPC round. I believe is going to be. Where did I start writing down numbers? Here? Cool. I think it's 105. Alright. Now it's time for another set of turns. Uh, who's all down? Um, mm, spider. Spider is down. That's it. Cool. Alright, afterwards, Onyx is gonna go. Onyx, after using evasive, the next move he wrote down was Sharp Tongue again. He's gonna look at the bear and say, fuck you, and the bear's gonna take five damage. How much damage? Five damage. Oh, I thought you said 500. I was like, no, five damage. It just seemed to really hurt the bear that Onyx said, fuck you. The bear is so upset. It doesn't know how to handle this. Eh. Uh, that was move number two. After Onyx is Douglas. Douglas, your turn. Turn to go. Have some fun. Do a murder. Can I just, like, uh, back away for a bit and try to no longer be concussed? Uh, yeah, you can move. Your slipstream, for some reason, is moving with you, so it's gonna be canon now. Alright, then. Uh, updated map. Try is so far away. <laughs> 
and uh, Wolf Silver is on the back of the bear. Uh, by the way, Silver, you have no, none of your other original abilities. You have the abilities of Default Wolf. You need to mark that, you're, that this is not true. Uh, what happened to... Did Silver's body just transform into the wolf? Yeah. Okay. But where where Silver was on the back of the bear, you see a wolf. A emerald green wolf. Uh, you move backwards, you're no longer concussed. After that, gumdrop. Tranquil on deck. If you want to try and bring back Tranquil, it will be on your turn as a bonus action. I still have crystal actions, right? Uh, you do, but you can use them on your turn since Tranquil is not animate, currently. Okay, I get that. And also, did Silver mention the voice from the bear? You can't hear Silver. Oh, like, right. you don't hear you don't hear him through, you don't hear him through communication. That's what I'm, I'm specifying. Currently now number one a wolf and number two, um, Willow is gone. Willow should oh. not have died to that attack from traditional damage. Something happened. Willow is gone. All right, so since we got the information that there is a crystal inside the bear for my crystal action, I will use Can't Hide and mention to Tranquil. It would, there's a crystal somewhere in the bear. Are we able to pinpoint it? It is around its neck, buried in fur. I will communicate that to the rest of the group. Oh. I'm, I'm just gonna slip. I'm just gonna put a little a little dot on the bear. Just a little dot. You guys can see it. Oh make the full opacity. Just a tiny little dot so you guys know where the crystal is. Uh doop do 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 Tiny little dot. So I'll communicate that to the rest of the group. Enter the slipstream, then enter a space in which I can attack the bear. All right, perfectly fine with me. Ah, I need to get the move button. Do 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 do. Uh, dreadful claw again. Yep. All righty. Roll me your damage, and then multiply by ten plus. Multiply that number. But you know what I mean. Do your damage. Do your fun. Have some fun. Roll a number. Awful. Uh, so you do 20 damage. Good job. Big proud. I need to find the helpful number. There it is. If the number's wrong, you can blame Jazz. A Pax, your turn. Oh no. Silver on deck. Okay, so I was mainly thinking about using Ale's Age of Eclipse in order to get that bonus damage while I distract the enemy, but I don't know if Eclipse wants to do that right now. I'm going to ping him, see if he's awake. <laughs> Are you alive? He might be asleep. Yeah, if so, I will do his damage for him. So Eclipse isn't like building up any damage or anything. I forgot what kind of moves Eclipse has. Um, but yeah, if, if um, he has the next attack is going to be three hundred seventy-five damage flat, That's without any okay. other fun oh. effects. Oh yeah, Trinkle Trinkle is back. Trinkle is back on her on your bonus action. What do you want Trinkle to do? Just real quick. Uh, she spawns back on your tile, so she has to move uh, four feet to be on her own tile or be with you. Is this me? Uh, no, it's RV because RV messaged that uh they forgot to bring Trinkle back.
Tranquil remained with Gumdrop for the time being? Okay, so I'm just going to remove the pip, but we know Tranquil is back. Actually, no, it's just going to stand at Gumdrop. Okay. So, back to Eclipse and Apex. Eclipse, on his turn, I believe, can do damage. Eclipse. Yeah, he's in range to do damage. A lot of damage. Okay, so the bonus damage would be quite juicy. Uh, um, I also how want... much is bonus damage? Uh, I don't think that's specified. At least not in the, in the message. I was oh, ask shit. What... That is a lot of damage. Fun. I also want to ask. It's double. Questions. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Um. Bonus action. Uh, Yastrix have... question. So allies yeah, aid. Right. Bear is going to focus its attention on you because you're distracting. Yeah, so, you know, mark to... that uh, down. This magic, this magic attack. Is there like a radius that it's gonna be, or can I get out of the way, or is it just going to kill, uh, not kill, but impact everyone? It's currently affecting silver oh okay and it seems to affect anyone that goes down that has a crystal i've seen this once before but molly was much weaker then oh she didn't use a bear last time she used a cat and made it into a bear i do have evade evasive so if the bear attacks me I can use that, right? Uh, you can. If you are dealt damage, you can take zero instead. Cool. I'm not sure what else I need to do this turn. Uh, you're just distracting. The bear is going to be like, what yeah. the fuck's going on over here? <laughs> Kick its ass, Eclipse. Kick its ass, Eclipse. Let's go. Uh, who's after Hepax? Silver! Yeah, yeah. Let's go, silver. Let's go. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, do you ask your uh, questions? Or are you already good for questions? No, use Ally Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead, silver. So, how much damage do I do now? Try it. I could sneak attack, though. And that would be funny. You can't sneak attack. You don't know how as I a wolf. Cannot. <laughs> Looks at my hands. What the fuck are these? <laughs> They're green. They're very green. They're green. My, I have. You a got green a green thumb. Got a helmet and then shoulder pads and then a. Yeah, I'm. You see the bear. You see the bear. You're not sure who your enemy is. Roll me a, uh, roll me a D one hundred and call high or low before you roll it. Oh, so this is going to be a clarity check. Okay. Yeah, clarity check. Apax is making a lot of noise though. That Siamese over there, he don't know what his name is. But Apax is making oh, a, no. a Siamese is I making a lot of noise. Go like, uh, I mean, I could try to recognize the person I've known my entire life. Should I go high or low, guys? All in? Uh, or is this a me thing? I don't know who you guys are. Uh, high. British screeching. Not what I wanted, indeed. <laughs> hey, look, it's 100. Dang it! <laughs> that Siamese cat's really getting to you. Howl, but instead I speak actual words instead of just a roar. Uh, your next attack does 15 bonus damage, and the target knows you're going after them. What foot? Target? Who? What? Where? When? So, on a 19, you don't like the Siamese. It's being loud, it's being disruptive, and the bear is your friend. Can I disrupt her? Can I disrupt the Hapax? Can you disrupt the Hapax? Yes. I would say so, but then uh, the clarity still has to has a different target. 
But who, um, who around this area would you attack? Would it be the isolated cat to the right? Who you'd have to make a, a, a clarity check with advantage on to attack him? Uh, 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 could I get a map update? The map update is the current map. Oh my god. The isolated cat on the right is Rabbit. But you don't know that. Oh no, don't do this to me. So, Hapax oh. has been node. That ability is off. He's no longer distracting you. Mm. You gotta roll another clarity check? Like, looks, I, I take a small little glance at a random white cat. Oh, he looks easy enough to pick off. Doesn't seem like the brightest in the world. So, Rabbit knows you're going after him. And you will deal 15 extra damage on your next attack. That white well, cat. If if I fail this roll, let's not, let's not say that real quick. Oh yeah, high or low? <laughs> Easy pickings. No, Rabbit, run! <laughs> I need to kill my own husband. This is going to be horrible. Alright, uh, after... Wolf's turn is Willow. Um, you feel your body start to move, and you attack what you're riding. You attack the bear, and you are very confused. Like As to why silver. you're... You, the wolf, are very confused why your wolf body is attacking the bear. I understand what you're doing. You're nah, bro. I understand through the previous hints, nah, bro. We gotta kill this bear fast. Uh, after that. Willow, uh, also the the wolf, the wolf on the bear's back is gonna move closer to Gumdrop in attempts to do something, but it's not working. Actually, let me roll the check. Let me see if it works. Let me see if it works. I'll, I'll do wanna... actually roll it. Let's not hope it It works. doesn't work. Good, good. Willow tried to do something. It did not work. Uh, Ty, oh, it is yours. Willow. Willow, I thought, like, evil new version of Malibu tried to do something. No. No, okay, no, no, no. So, who's that guy again? Who, like, no. The, what, why Bird said wolf was because Silver doesn't recognize Willow at this point. No. Nah. No, I said wolf because the the green wolf on top of the bear's back is not down? in memory Willow, huh? Who's down? Who's down? Uh, spider. Okay. So Where's is spider wolf? At? Spider is the th one of the three S's over by uh, Stone is going is going to use his ability on Spider to bring him up. Okay, then I don't have to worry about Spider. So, um. Nah, this this guy gotta go. <laughs> really? How Does many he? I have I have fourteen, right? How many? What do you have? The back. There's fourteen. Correct. You currently uh, have seven on the bear, four on one each on Hopper. Send thirteen of them. Send thirteen of them on that stupid bear, bro. Get this dude out of here. So the one remains on you. The other two are gone. Are the other ones are gone? Yes. The yes. OG stays on you. Yes. Cool. Ride or die right here. Okay, on your turn, how much damage does it do? Or Sebex uh, turn, how much damage does it do? Normal Sebex or OG Sebex? Uh, the other Sebex. Uh, they do 7 damage on player character turns. So like my turn, RV's turn, so on and so forth. If it was OG Sebex, it'd be doing 7 damage plus bleed. I don't know how you want to incorporate that. But, yeah. Nah, this guy, this guy has got to go. This bear ain't it. So, Pax, just use Charming on Malibu. Easy. Easy win. True. In theory, you could say remember. That could work. In theory, of course. 
Man, you should start saying that to old people. See if they'll start remembering too. Damn. If it's not easy, if it really is I not agree. easy. I, if you're poor, there was just get my uh, no need to attack the old RV. Uh the reason you don't notice is because he did not roll higher than a ten. He could not make a visible sign. He was one off. This game is actually okay. Uh since it's he has half. He needed a natural twenty. But he only has half control. Okay, looking at this map. Yes. The only thing that's moved is Wolf Silver to the opposite side of the bear. Okay. I've been doing the wrong number, but it's fine because you guys seem to be handling it just fine. But I thought it was five um, player camera two on I NPCs. had Inspire back up, right? Uh yeah. But you can't inspire the four originals. That's fine. My homie Eclipse is right over there. I think that would be very funny to inspire Eclipse and whoever else is in that uh, diagonal line. Eclipse? Eclipse in the diagonal LP. line directly, that's not Eclipse up there. That's I and LP. Eclipse is down by hip hacks. <gasps> oh, so he's the one next to the C shining stone yeah okay then do that line then so you're gonna do deer eclipse packs yeah cool where did i write down the inspired ones the inspired buffs yeah i wrote it down somewhere but i can't find it okay so all those inspired buffs are gone so deer Te technically eclipse. the hopper still has like, the people that survived the first blow still had theirs, right? Because it didn't go out. No, okay. it did. Okay, 20 HP is gone, right? Yeah. They, the oh. claw does 100 flat. Does 50 reduced. 50 when it's reduced. They took lost the 20 health, and they had 30 health lost from that. After the 20 health was gone. 20 was the max for temp HP, guys. Come on. So those three are buffed. Cool. Hapax is no longer distracting, so Eclipse doesn't have the bonus damage. No. Eclipse is no longer distracting, but Hapax still has the bonus damage. I know what I'm trying to say. I, I really do. I promise. I trust you. Uh, Tide, anything else on your turn? That's a great question. I guess I'll move forward towards everyone. Alrighty. Boom, boom. Have you behind I, is that okay? Or do you want to be close, closer? Uh, who's I? I is the co-leader of Jaw. Or Bite. I'm talking about where is I? The curse of E. On the yeah, top. Yeah, I'm gonna be behind that person. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Meat shield and all, of course. Alrighty. Uh, Sebek's turn. What do you want the Sebex to do? No, I'm saying a majority of them is on him. Uh, what's the health pool? Health pool is currently written down at 150. Okay, where's Spider? Uh, Spider is one of the three S's that are grouped together. The yellow, dark gray, and black. Okay, so he's back Spider's there. Spider's the black one. Yeah. That's fine. Um... Can I heal anybody near by? B near I? No, uh, near by. Nearby, uh, Leaf, River, Deer, Elope, yeah, everyone nearby you that can be healed. Cool, heal pool. Uh, heal pool. Evenly distributed, yeah. Evenly distributed between the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You want to get fifteen yeah. health to each that can take it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, right. if, what does that leave me at? Hold on. If you do fifteen health to everyone within range of you. That's a hundred. I you said I had a hundred and fifty, right? Yes, as of the start Meaning, of this turn. How much do I have left? If you do fifteen to each of the ten, or fifteen to each of the nine, and then three the five between the other ones. What? I don't know what you're. What I'm trying to say. I know words. I don't really. I promise. I got distracted. Someone came in my room. What? Continue what you're saying. Uh, are you evenly distributing the health between those that are injured, or between those that yeah. are lower? 
those that are three, injured. Four, five, and six, then seven, I, I should still have some left over because 15 times nine, there's nine cats. This is evenly distributed 15 times each of those nine cats. But there's and still. I, that's 135. If there's 150, there would roughly what? be 15 left in the heal. Pool. What I'm trying no? to say is that the damage is more than 150 if you're trying to heal for as much as possible. They'll be fine. I'm healing for as much as possible for my own personal benefit, so. Infinite, infinite, infinite. So, okay, you're, actually, you're trying to heal as much as possible, or what? Yes, I'm trying to heal as much as possible. Alright, so there, so Leaf is down 25, River's down 25, Deer, Elope, Jaw, Eye, Gumdrop, Stump are down 25, Finley's down 10. Bye, Booty. Have fun. So, you're giving how much again? I don't remember what he said. Just, I'm just giving it at this point to the injured people. Alrighty. I'm doing my job as a healer, an herbalist. 8 times 15 is somewhere near 120. And then I'll choose 3 cats by random roll to be fully hill. 15 times 8, you said? Yeah, 120? 100, yeah, it's 120. Alright, do you want to pick 3 targets to be fully, fully healed? Or shall I just uh, pick them? Sure, 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 sure. Which, which? All of these cats are down ten, 10, but I have, uh, I evened it out so everyone's down 10 health. That is injured. Just, who's near me is what I'm asking, so I can choose three cats. What? Didn't you say choose three? You want to choose the three cats? Yeah. Uh, Leaf, River, Deer, Elope, Jaw, Eye, Finley, Gumdrop, Stump. Um. Stump, Finley, Gumdrop. Stump, Finley, Gumdrop? Cool. Yeah. They are all full healed. And your health pool is back to Finley. zero. That's fine. Because that just adds on. Yep. Your on. current health total heal is one is 259. Don't worry, guys. And now there's 13 of them on them. On the bear. So what does that mean, if there's 13? Well... That's just the first a lot of damage, and then a big... Does each sebec through. do two damage? Each sebec? Does each sebec do it? Character, on a player character turn, each sebec does five damage. That's not what I've been doing. Uh, and you still have those big numbers. That's how you told me it worked back in the Badger fight. So that's what I'm going off of. It doesn't really matter. I guess. Um, so yeah. What do you want Sebex to do? I want 13 of them to attack the bear and just... Alright, on Sebex turn... Add on to the heal pool as well. Siphoning the bear, right? On Sebex turn, each Sebex will do a damage. 13 times 5 is 65. I think that's the right healing pool here, because it's easier. After Sebex... Uh, it is Rue. Rue is going to do a lot of damage. After Rue is Finman. Uh, after Finman is Eclipse, I have I have Eclipse handled.
waiting on Finley to do a thing. Finley becomes God. Finley dies. Hit the bear. The bear says ow as you hit the bear. In perfect feline, just to piss you off. After Finley is Eclipse. So, Eclipse is going to jump onto the bear's back and do a thing. With all the multiplicatives, jumping onto the bear's back, his base damage is... Smog, I know you're worried about me. I'm just focused on numbers, and I'm trying to make sure I don't mess anything up. So that's why I sound stressed. Okay, 16, 31, 47, 47, plus, get over your calculator, God damn it! I have to do calculator math, how dare you guys? Where's the calculator? There it is. Dog, I do calculator math for 35 plus 38. You're good. Times 2 times 2. All right. So <laughs> the bear takes a whopping 1,547 damage. What? From all the bullshittery. Which the total damage is now 3902 to the bear. The bear is pissed off. Uh, Nero did not get brought back, but Nero on Eclipse's turn will do a mirror of his damage. Meaning that Nero will do 1547 damage. Making the total damage be 5,449 damage. Which I believe that brings this total to... Imagine just a slightly bigger cat running up, jumping on your back, and doing the equivalent of you getting hit by a semi-truck. Okay, <laughs> bud, I'm going to say this in the nicest way possible. If you do not ask how much health this bear has left, I am going to hurt you. Lightheartedly, I don't of course. think you should ask how much health the bear has. The bear I has health. Know. I want to know. Can you show me? I want to know about these strangers like me. It's now do it three more form. times. All right. After Nero is Shining Stone. Shining Stone, what you want to do? Shining Stone, are you here? You are here. You are um. Here. Can I attack the bear now? You can attack or the am bear. I too far away? You can get close enough okay. to the bear. You can it punch it. it. You can it. punch the bear in the nose. I'll Do punch it. the bear in the nose. You want to, you actually want to Do climb it. up onto the bear and punch the bear in the nose? Yes. Or are you going to use your herbalist to attack? Yes. Do you want to climb onto the bear? Yes. Okay. So we could just attack the neck. So. Burn can't get to the neck. I need to do more uh, math now. How dare you guys? You're welcome. Okay, so this number minus this number. Just the wolf just standing on top of the bear being like, I am just, I I am just, I'm standing here. I, it, the wolf silver is very confusing to me in a good way because I don't know what's going on and that's a good you thing. You deal 371 damage. It's a little bit. It's a tiny little poke. With your uh, two percent health damage. Two percent health damage. Oh no! Now you're making us do math. I can just give you how many hits that was. All I right. Calculate that damage anyway. Actually, wait. That should be this number here.
All right. Bear's third turn. The bear is going We're to... Going on round three? Yes, it's round three. I thought we were... What? The bear... Oh is going to... Swipe at... Mm. Yeah, it's going to scratch at River and deal full damage. River is down. Which is actually pretty good for you guys that a bear on a full action turn only knocked down one cat. Alright, after that, it is time for the NPC turns. All at once, which does a lot of things, which makes this number become this number. You take that damage, so I need to write that down, which is... And then need to decide how much damage the NPCs are going to do by moving them all around. Everyone loves when things move around. Ambush is going to move. They get closer. That's not what I meant to do. Root's gonna run closer. The dog's gonna run closer. Try is not gonna get closer. Try is not fast. Get over here, Try. Nice try, though. I need to move Petey off of Hapax and get him actually closer. Gnocchi goes in. Crackers goes in. Did you just say nice try? Huh? Did you just say nice try when moving try? <laughs> no. You're out of pocket. Uh, Rabbit is going to run onto the bear. And make a check. Hey, uh, Malibu. High or low? Oh no, how dare you do this to me. Uh, hi. Gotta work at least once. This cat is threatening you. No, it's not. No, he's not. You don't know what he's saying. You don't understand, feline. Those of you that do baby. understand, you hear, Silver? Is that you? And then wolf nah. snarling on the back of the bear. Nah, you about to send your Malibu to kill us? That's crazy. Yeah, it's just threatening you. Um, damage of those close enough. I need to actually move everyone now. Uh, Hopper goes in for the kill. Hat goes for the crystal that's ex that he can see now. River is down and not going to be able to move. Deer goes here. Leaf goes around, attempting to help. He does not help, but he tries anyway. Eye closes in. Jaw does damage. Okay, so now I need to do that damage. Time for more math. Probably around 400. Maybe not. Actually, wait. Gumdrop, will you allow Crackers to share space with you so that uh, Crackers and Yoki do double damage? Sure. Cool. Crackers is going to share space with you. If I can find where Crackers is on my map. There it is. Crackers. Three creatures in a space. That's 400 damage now. I'm going to just assume that the, everyone accepts that, and I'm just going to move on to Onyx's turn. What did Onyx write for turn four? Onyx wrote a number. What was that number? The number was... Icy Yawn! Onyx moves to cast Icy Yawn, dealing the bear... Actually, yeah, actually, Onyx doesn't need to move. Onyx does a lot of damage. Okay. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, deals 38 damage. Bye, Fern.
All right. After Onyx is Douglas. Douglas, do your thing. What? What do you want to do? Your thing. Your thing. Do it. Uh, I backed off, so just, like, charge back in. Just get, go in. Commit murders. You want to use the Harris ability so you can get all the way around? Yeah, okay. Because it's the only way you have an open spot unless you want to jump over someone. True. Yeah, just, just, just sprint around. Be a distraction. Be an annoying flea. A mosquito. Yo, what do you mean by that? I'm going to move you down to the bottom of the bear. The slipstream, I'm not moving it, but if you... I'm just leaving it. You deal damage. What's your damage? Uh, How many tails am I going this time? Pick a number. Uh, we'll go with um three. Twenty. Okay, um... No, it's four feet tiles, and Tranquil's one of them. Wait, so, how many tiles? Uh, 20. Because I uh, said so. 160. Cool. When did I do so much damage? When I stopped being a damage limiter. This series won't end until Douglas manages to bound across an entire football field in one turn. Exactly. Gumdrop, your turn. After Douglas does dumb shit. So would bonus action real or just get silver to target me? Uh, you can try it. It's You have not seen this level of feral wolf. And you've seen feral wolves. If you know what I mean. I don't really have another use for a bonus action, so I will try to re-alert. Where did it go? Did I not pin it? Why am I so bad at this? Oh, I forgot to write that down as well. Re-alert just means what again? Oh, wait, vocal throw. Uh... Reel your allies to a fight? Uh... Mm, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Malibu, above 40 or below 60? Person. <laughs> above 40 or below 60? The odds are better. Above 40 or below 60. Above. Oh, no. Okay. You can go below. If it's below it's six. Above. Okay. Above, above 40. We're going with above 40. Fifty-three. You know who this cat is. Oh, you're muted now. <laughs> you know who this cat is. You're staring at Gumdrop. Uh, little guy. He was a the pant like the Savannah cat that you remember. But you don't know what he's saying. It's like something's locked away, and you've. Broken the first lock. As you begin to hear, um, I I don't know if I'm ready to do this voice. Are you? I wanted to do this voice with you so you hear it. <laughs> Did you hear me? Wait, are you? Why are you muted? I'm curious. I'm sorry if it's too much to ask. I think my rat might be at a friend's house. I can hear you. My friend is right next to me. Cringe. Cringe friend. Yeah, see? Told you. All right. You begin to hear Willow trying to get your attention. Trying to snap you back to reality. 
not back to reality. But you also hear Molly. What the fuck was that? Sounds like someone just fell. Yo, Molly swears, guys. <laughs> yeah, canon now. Molly's like, yo, what the fuck was that? All right, uh, Gumdrop, you have, you feel like you've gotten through to him. All right, so Dreadful Claw again. Dreadful Claw. All right, roll the d10. If you roll a number you rolled before, you get to roll it again. That's a nine. Not in the slipstream, that's 90 damage. Where is the numbers there? There it is. And for crystal action, I will give it a gentle reminder that the, that one other time where it got so overwhelmed it couldn't decide what to do, it just went prone. I can I can talk now. All right. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Uh, Hello. You just hear Willie be like, Silver, Silver, are you there? What? 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 All right. Don't listen to him. He's trying to stray you away. The bear's helping you. Who the hell are you? I'm your guardian angel. I I, I can't see you. I can... I I'm... will try to... He's a little confused. Don't worry about him. Why should I trust you over him? Because I brought you back. Your your what? friends killed you. What? They told you to get on top of the bear. And then they, they watched you die. And did nothing. No. I... 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 I, I did that. They wanted to. They didn't. They. D did they? They did. I'm sorry. I, I. I can't recognize anyone. I took those mean memories away. Mean? What, what oh. do you mean? They were cruel to you, mocked you. Made fun of you. You were... You used to... But... You used to make beautiful blankets. And lock... Unpick locks that house dwellers couldn't. And they well... made fun of you. For your fifth claw. Just because you're polydactyl. If you don't know what that word means, I'll explain it later. I know what polydactyl means. Okay. I yeah they haven't been the the nicest but but we're still friends there's they, they wouldn't I... and combat continues as Wolf Silver has this conflict whose turn was it I had it marked down Gumdrop did a thing you attacked ninety damage yes my friend. Um, I use gentle reminder on the bear. Ah, gentle reminder does what it, you just like. I'm finding it again. Do I remember? What, do I need to roll anything, or does it just happen? Um, the bear has to roll. The bear has to roll. I roll with disadvantage because of sharp tongue. <laughs> Thanks, Oscar. Uh, gentle reminder. Trying to remind opponent that they're supposed to be doing a history check with DC. Complex to get the reminder. So you're attempting to overwhelm the bear? What? Yeah, I'm reminding that when the bear was overwhelmed, it just went prone. Cool. That's not going to be harmful for anyone that's going to be underneath the legs. As the bear just falls flat. But I, go, I will roll the 2d20 and take the lower. That is a 12. The bear considers it and will do it in a moment. So after your turn, it will do it. Anything else on yours before we go to Tranquil? 
And that's it for me. All right, the bear goes prone. So essentially the bear just goes straight down. Uh, it does not take up any extra tiles. Just assume that the bear's legs are out. Thank you guys for using your imagination with me. After that, it is Haypax's turn. Uh, okay, so I quite like Fox's idea of using Charming on Silver. Um, All right. I also do want to know the bear's health. So, I also bonus... So, bonus action tactical to ask you new sweet talk and ask what the bear's health is at. As well as uh, sweet talking or charming silver. Am I near silver? Uh, you can see silver. Silver's on the back of the bear, who has just went prone. Okay, yes. For some reason. <laughs> So you want to know the so bear's max health or current health? Current. Current health? 17,368. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ, okay. We might have to figure out something else that's not taking its full health down then. Um... Signing Stone does percent health damage. After two is five. After five is eight. Continuing. And on, her, on the bear's back, does double. Shining stone. Effects can regenerate you. Okay, I don't think I can help there. Um, but yeah, with, with, with charming silver, I get the two word phrase. Would it be possible to help him come to his senses with that? What words are you using? Or are you asking me as tactical? Because you get two questions of tactical. I could ask all three. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah. So bonus action using your second tactical. What's your question? Um. Hmm. Would I be able to command Silver to, I guess, break out of the spell? Um, it would be, it would have to be a very specific phrase that would give him advantage. He is under one of the strongest spells or abilities in this game. And after this, there will be someone else who is under the spell. Okay. And it depends solely on who has the least health or who is the closest. So very specific. Okay. The next in the spell could be either Shining Stone, Gumdrop, Onyx, or Tide, depending on where I want to source the closest from. Because everyone seems to be at full health, right? Everyone's at full. That's a player with the crystal. I am. Yeah. I think. And I think this combat, <laughs> the this round of combat will end as soon as we get to the bear's action. Okay. So if you've already done your action, you're done for the night. Douglas, oh, Douglas is the lowest. And Douglas is close. Oh, okay, it's Douglas, then that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, thank you for reminding me that Douglas is down one health. Who is more important, Silver or Douglas? Your brother or this weird cat that has a, that has a pit bull for a brother? I mean, realistically, or, yeah. Wait, Pitbull Pitbull? Yeah. would pick the the former option. Your brother. <laughs> would what is your what is your two word charming? Well, it has to be very specific. So, under a spell, two words. I think in something like wake up or. Uh, remember us? Um. Are you using so charming I like an ally or charming like an enemy? Uh, 
I suppose it would be like it. It says persuading an enemy to follow your orders. So okay, that there will be a roll if it does not work, or yeah. uh, Wolf Silver to assume you're an enemy, depending on your word choice. And if that goes wrong, basically nothing happens, or I get hurt, or what? Uh, Wolf Silver will be convinced by Molly that you are the target to attack. Okay. I oh, that's, assuming that's assuming that my phrase even works. Oh, this is tough. That's true. Uh, I'll consider my options. Can I offer something for Bud, or is that like... Go ahead. Mega? Go ahead. <laughs> Please. So, in theory, and this might not work, but as the group has gone on with each other for this amount of time, they're kind of like family, no? So in theory, for your two-word thing, you could say, remember family. I could at least work with her packs. True. Or friends? Remember friends? Choose them carefully. Uh... The tension. The tension is quite high. What will it be? Well, I'm not really sure what else to do in this situation, so... I guess... <laughs> Mesquites are bad. You what? Reading Arvi. Um, I'll just... I, I'll use... Yeah, I'll use Charming and say... Remember friends. Remember friends? <laughs> Hopefully that works. Silver. Once again, we snap back into your mind. We hear Willow being drowned out by the sound of buzzing wings. And you hear, no, don't listen to him. No, don't listen to him. No, don't. And it's cut off. As Wolf Silver looks out at this group of cats, he calls his friends. Except for that one guy. That one guy's so rude. <laughs> and you look behind you on the back of this bear and see Rabbit. Looking at you, worried for his life, but more worried about you. Erase the word wolf from wolf silver. As remember friends or remember, remember me were the correct phrases. Let's go. Remember family would have been uh, remembering birth family and seeing as they're all dead, it would have been more yeah. influential to be negative. Sorry for the spoiler, silver, but yeah, yeah, your birth family's <laughs> dead. You just want to roll to hug rabbit? Give me a roll, high or low? <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking you'd use family to be like a monkey paw situation. And yeah, that's exactly what I was going to do. High? All right, let's see. Can you roll high? It's high. Give your, give your husband a hug. I rolled a D1 for those that are curious. <laughs> hug your husband. I'm just going to do this on the battle map real quick. Just move Wolf Silver a little bit closer to Rabbit. On this prone bear. Everyone pauses to go, aww. Everyone pauses to go, aww. So wholesome. As so the wholesome. bear... As the first of the spells are broken, the bear takes 2,000 damage from the breaking of the magic. <laughs> Go. All right, so I need to rewrite that number down. Anything else from you, Hapax, on your turn? Except for being the most Chad motherfucker. Um, move away from the bear a little bit. All right. <laughs> move away from the bear a little bit. You moved away four feet. How's it sound? Yeah, that's good. Thank you very much. All right, after Hapax is going to be Silver. Silver, what are you doing? Except for hugging your husband. <laughs> 
<laughs> Douglas is disgusted. Given spell targeting, you might forget about that soon. Hurt? Hurt the bear? Who you know is your enemy now? Hurt bear? Alrighty. Wolf form, you did howl, which is plus 15 damage. Do you know how much wolf silver does with crystal claws? I'll just write down the number and I'll DM you what the number is after. So you're just scratching once, right? Cool. Uh, there's your number for how much damage you just dealt. Oh wait, I forgot to add the uh, doubled for uh, double for the plus fifteen, so that'd be a plus thirty. There you go. After Silver, anything else you want to do on your turn? Yes, well, good job, Fox, for mentioning Charm. Nope. All right, uh, Willow is going to also use this crystalline body that he's a part of to also scratch the back, dealing another bout of that damage. After that, it's going to be tied, and then the Specs, and then Rue. Oh, yeah. Tied, what you wanna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when for they come for For starters, you? I'm going to heal River to 100. River is now fully healed. Can I use the healing pool on cats that are injured currently? Uh, you will ho fully heal everyone. And with stuff okay. to spare. Okay. Now then, can I communicate with our or gumdrop? Fully. Go ahead. You said to attack the net with the crystal on there, right? Yep. All right then. Uh, can I converse with River? Uh, River is dizzy, but she is alive. Okay. River, can I use you jump towards the bear's neck by using Ricochet and use all the healing points that I've gathered so far to hit the bear's crystal? So, fully healing River is 40 plus 60. That's another 100, so that so you're using all your healing points currently. Indeed. And I just healed everybody to full, I think. I think that's so good. the healing pool, I've written down the number what's left in the healing pool. You have 359 total healing this combat. You're going to ricochet off of river and attack the crystal. Yes. Boing. If you're watching the video, you're gonna be so happy to see my little like bouts. <laughs> I love this. I love the fact you guys can see the battle map now. Uh, so yeah, you're going to do 359 damage multiplied by the crystal's damage, which is times 3. So math real quick. 1,077 damage. Onto the crystal, right? Are you attacking the crystal itself or the trying to damage the bear? The crystal itself? I'm the crystal itself. Roll me a d20. You want high. That's fine. Alrighty. Uh, one, seven, four. All right. So you're attacking the crystal directly. The crystal, as you scratch it, goes from that beautiful blue to jarring red and back. And as you've gone through it, but as you scratch through it, your claws, your paw, and going up your arm is a silver. Not silver, but a silver in color. Uh, can you repeat that, please? 
uh, as you scratch the crystal, it goes from red to blue to back to red, back to blue. And as you look at your paw, it is turned silver, but not quite a cat's paw. I see. You know what's happening. I do. But I had to take the risk. Yep. Very well done on your turn. After that is going to be the Sebex. What do you want Sebex to do? Each bite? Yep. All right, each are going to bite, doing a total of, what was the number again? 65? Cool. One, seven, eight in the health pool for the Sebex. After Sebex is going to be Rue. Rue is going to do a massive bite attack. You need to write down the 65 damage too, though. One, zero, comma, two, two, seven, I think. No, two, two, nine. Rue is going to do their full attack. Uh, you feel Rue beside you, Ty, as Rue has seen what you've done and is going to also take a chance. Let's do it. Triple damage is that number. And you see Rue for a moment and then you hear the sound of falling glass and wind chimes very god uh rue is either you assume cuz that's not the sound of a crystal being un, un like unpossessed that's the sound of a crystal being stunned i see so Rue is stunned for their next turn. But they have done a significant amount of damage. After Rue is Finman, then Eclipse, Nero, Shiny Stone, Bear. So, Finman, what you want to do, if you're still here? I'm going to go ahead and write down Eclipse's turn, too. One, eight, three. You're there, cool. Where the F is me on the map. You are the Finley that is just kind of out in the middle. You said you attacked last turn. You dealt damage. I'm just going to put you over here. You're over on the other side of the bear. Enjoy. Is, anyone, is there anyone that's like in particular danger? Uh... You assume Rabbit is fine because he's with his sentient husband now, who was previously unsentient. But no one seems to be in danger on the last turn of this combat. Okay, hit bear. Cool. Eight, two, seven. Eclipse is going to do his base damage, which is 41, I think. No, yes. 16, 16, 30. No, 16, 15 is... 42, no, it's 47. The fuck is your no damage numbers? I don't remember. Clips, why do you have to be so confusing? Uh, 16, 16, 32 plus 15 is 47 times 3. 47 times 3 times... Two because he's on the back. Two eighty two. One 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 oh nine. After Eclipse is Nero, who's going to double his damage. Or do his damage again, which is another two eighty two. Shining Stone, you ready for the last turn of this combat? Oh, Shining Stone is not here. I'm going to do her damage for her, which I'm going to assume that she's going to do the thing where she does the 5% health damage. I just need to find the 5% health of this real quick. Oh, the bear has one more turn after this. Mm 
minus this number equals times 0 0.02 is 252 damage. Yeah, before the before Grey Raven is over for this episode. This combat's not lasting 20 turns. You guys have it under control. I think. Do you? Who knows? Um, minus 252 is that number. Wait, no, I need to do 3 plus 252 is 11645. The bear. The bear is going to use a. It's prone. But it's going to. It's going to get up and use. Actually, I need to roll. I need to roll the die, actually, because I don't get to choose. That's in Eclipse Chat. 17. What's number 17 on here? Let's see. 17. There we go. Bear charges 10 tiles. Was it 10 tiles? I think I did 10 tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10. Yep. So it would be here. Would this be considered AoE? Uh, no, the bear does not do damage on this. Okay. As the bear is running away. And you as, like, the bear is running to a different location. And the second mark of this ability, after you see Tide, let me just grab out a different uh, marker I had set aside. Let me grab it real quick. Where are you? There you are. Let me just make this one disappear as I bring in this one in its place. As you now see, Crocodile Tide, <laughs> a 16 foot, not 16 foot, a 12 foot gator appear on the map. There's just a full-on alligator. Or crocodile, my bad. And all of these Sebeks are gone. And that concludes this episode of Grey Raven. Episode 15. Bye, guys! Goodbye, everyone. Woo! Woo. That was great. I had to take a chance.